Hi, my name is Reiner Von Weber, and this is the California Legal. California Legal came to be because Game of Drones wanted to do some drone fighting. They had an indestructible drone, and I had a solution to come out with wood and PVC. Primarily because uh, I didn't have anything else that was able to match up to it, and I figured if I was going to do some fighting, I didn't want to break the bank. So, came up with this guy, and it came out to be a gem. A lot of people are really curious how to build it. So, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to build yourself a California legal. Start with a half inch PVC cross hub, and then 5 8 wooden dowels that you can get at any hardware store. This can be Home Depot, Lowe's, Osh, wherever. They fit really nice and snug as is. There's two ways that you go ahead and make it more efficient. Use a glue gun. I like to use the glue gun, put them in, get it all the way around, and just douse it in there. And you get to the point when you stick it in, you want the glue to come out. If you do not have a glue gun, I recommend these screws. This brand, because they work awesome. And basically what they are are lathe screws. Um, they bite into wood really well, and they bite into the plastic really well. So what you would do is put a pilot hole in, place it in there and you can see that's about how much it, it will dig into the wood. This build is funny because I built this before the KKHC came out. This was my version of a KKHC. HC basically means it's a hard case. I did not know what a BEC was. This was my BEC. It was four batteries. Now I know what I'm doing for the most part. My BEC is changed to this little guy. And you can see this is what it's evolved to. This has gone away. This 8-bit KK processing has gone away. Now I'm up to the CC, Nays World, whatever else, F3, F4s, whatever you would like. And you can get it down to FPV where I have a camera on there. It's pretty clean. Still wood. You got the ESCs. You can see how small they are to the point where now I'm able to wrap those up. Yeah, pretty much it. So I'm going to keep on talking. <laughs> so the, evo the other evolution of the California Legal is that this was another fighter. This was an all-in-one. And this is when the, actually the KKHC came out. I was able to stick that underneath. The ESC 4 one sat on top because this hot top plate got really hot, so you had to keep it on top so it would stay cool. And this would be its protector. This is a fun fact. I've actually broken a few arms. They don't break that often, believe it or not. But this was a clean break. All I did was cut it, grab the PVC, and I would cross section on there. You can see how there's different tones on the wood. That's what you're looking at. That's just another piece that I was able to go ahead and get it back up in the air. So I'm curious, I'm sure you're all curious about how to mount the motors on. When I started with it, most motors came with these guys. I'm sure most of you don't even know what these are. These are what motor, the suppo motors would come with. This would be your mounting plates. These do not exist. So I would take that, put them on the bottom, and use 22 millimeter screws. It goes all the way through. Some people would chop these off. I don't care. I keep them on. But my original way that I used to do it was I would use zip ties. I would still use these pieces because there are a bunch of them around. And I would fasten that up really nice and neat just with zip ties. And then I would slip it on the edge. And you can see. And the nice thing about it is that when it would crash and break, these would just pop off easy to replace, nothing really ever broke, things did not really bend. You just replace zip ties. Made it really simple, really easy, and get yourself back up in the air. Now that I came out with that, and a lot of time has gone by, it has basically evolved to this. This is what a bare frame would look like. What you would do Screw, you would want to drill some holes like that so the bottom of the motors would stick down there so it doesn't rub against there. And the new way that I mount these is that I use these little plates. 
Little plates made out of G10 or wood. And if you have a 3D printer, you can print them out as well. But again, 22 millimeter screws and they fasten on really well. I would recommend that every time you do a flight, check these because these can come loose. If you're out there, I've had it happen to me yesterday where I was flying and all of a sudden it fell out of the sky because I did not check these. Um, you can put a little bit of crazy glue on there, some CA on there, that will hold them in place. Some of the uh, Loctite, all that's great stuff to use. And this is a bare frame all together. So I'm sure you're wondering where does the battery go? Well, the battery goes right here. And you see I'm just holding on with these wrap straps, reusable zip ties, nothing fancy. It slips right on there, but the balance is really good. What is important is you wanna make sure that this is all tucked in because these will get cut, these will flop around. Plenty of clearance. Boom. I like to put the battery in the back, basically keeping it tail heavy. Um, it gives me the opportunity to get my nose up a little bit easier. I know a lot of racers like to have the batteries up front if they had a choice. Uh, as we all know, like you want the center of gravity right in the center, much as possible. It's not always achievable because this was a, an interesting build. I built it. Where was I going to put the battery? This was my best solution, and it works great. Soft mounting. Now, how I make my boards, you can see there's zip ties and there's this foamy stuff in there. Soft mounting. I like to do soft mounting. I like to use cosmetic foam and zip ties. And it basically comes out to a profile like that. What you're looking at, you would have your PDB, your wires off the PDB. You put that in there, put your flight controller on top, and zip tie them on all four corners. Once you get all four corners going, use some good 30 pound tape from Scotch or 3M and that holds it on. I don't glue it on. It's straight sticky back tape that I just I just slap it right on there and it stays. It does not move. And the great thing is that if you ever really have problems and you do want to replace it, it's easy enough to cut the zip ties and take that off. Uh, goo gone will get rid of everything. But it's pretty much easy to use. Um, I've always had a horrible time with standoffs. Standoffs break and I would have three out of four. So what's three standoffs when I need four? This takes a lot of problems away. Another nice thing about this cosmetic foam, it takes a certain level of frequencies out that you do not get frequencies introduced to your board. Wood arms do the same. The wood arms take a lot of vibrations away. So which is one of the things I love about the wood PVC scenario. They're cheap. This is like $7, if that, in, a fra in, in frame and materials. Any questions? I want to give a great shout out to SF Drone School. Thank you so much for providing the space for us to shoot this and for the telephone ringing in the background. Thank you. If you like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and click on subscribe and um, even hit that notification button and we'll get some more videos out to you soon.